Welcome to IRT Stadium in Invercargill for the second match of round nine. It was the Steel hosting the Pulse. The Steel, they were awesome yesterday against the Mystics, but they fell short tonight, 49-34. It was that first quarter the Pulse came out firing. They lost last week, and you could tell they were hungry. Yeah, they certainly were hungry, and the Steel really battled in that first quarter, and it just set it up for the game, really. The Pulse came out. They just had... Everyone was working so hard together and they really put that steel attacking under pressure and yeah, it cost them the game. Absolutely. The MVP of the match was Kelly Jury. They really struggled to get the ball over this long reach. Oh, Jury was outstanding tonight. I think in that steel, uh, in the posture, so she's getting better and better. One intercept, nine deflections and four pickups. So really strong under there, put the steel shooters under immense pressure and they didn't want to shoot the ball at some stage. So really good effort in the pulse stress for her. And some good help as well from the outside. Kirsten and Berger were also very good. But her partner in crime tonight was Katrina Rory, playing in her 200th National League match. I think only two others, Laura Langman and Leanna Debrain, have played more, and she was good. Oh, she was outstanding tonight. She really showed she's been playing this game for so long. She knows the game well, and she really stepped up for her team tonight. Some great intercepts, great deflections, and just her leadership throughout the whole court. She's talking so much to the team. She's setting the high, the, the bar nice and high, and she, yeah, she was great tonight. Yeah, and you knew she was not going to walk away without a win tonight. She was not happy when they were at home last week and had that loss. So what what do the stats tell us? Attempts 54, 52 to the pulse and 44 for the steel. Just that percentage for the steel really let them down tonight, 77%. Penalties still reasonably high, 45 to the steel and 49 to the pulse. And turnovers, it didn't really reflect the game, did it? 16 turnovers apiece. And when we look at how many shots that these teams take, earlier done, 30 from 32, but again, Ekinasi are having a good chunk of the shots. Yeah, the pulse shooting stats are unreal. They have been all season. They really, really... You know, they work hard to get those percentages up and it shows and it re is really hard when you come up against them. Yeah, absolutely, it makes it very hard who to pick up if you're a defender. So if we look at the result, it was the steal on Friday. They had a great one here at home, 51-47, but then dropped the next match, 34-49 to the Pulse. The big one, you have to watch this. Mystics, Tactics, 5pm. This will define a season. Both teams going for that second spot. Then the Magic and the Stars, they come to you from Hamilton. And another nail-biter on Monday. Pulse Tactics, the Pulse, they are number one. Nobody can catch them, but the Tactics, they need that win. And that's where we can see 45 points, 12 played games for the Pulse, 11 wins. Then it's the Tactics, they are fighting for it. The Mystics are making themselves a whole lot harder with that loss against the Steel yesterday. But it was the Pulse, they deserved it. They certainly came out firing on the 200th match for their captain. It was the Pulse and they won this match 49 to 36.